invention of the festival has just changed a lot through the years. Because when we started it in 2008, we had more artistic goals. So uh, by help of art, we wanted to make the city more colorful or shed another light on the, on the city and make the, the art more accessible for people. So uh, it was more, it was lighter. And then because uh, there was this uh, very radical um, political change in Hungary and uh, our money cut, just cut back and then also the whole situation just changed really radically. So, and we also radicalized. So now we are more critical, more political in a way, but political meaning not uh, being against the, the, the party, the governing party or the government, but rather against the, the passivity or the apathy of, of people. And I think that the, the art which we intend to present at our festival, the, the main aim is just to somehow shake the people that you have, uh, you can and you have to do something and be more active and proactive. So that's why I said that we are radicalized a little bit through the years. But still, we want to be an art festival, not like a political uh, branch, of, bunch of political, political activists. But um, uh, so, so basically, the the main aim is just to uh, present really good art in public space and through that somehow change the mentality of the people and their relation to the city and the relation of public issues, the public space. And we are really interested in that kind of art which is uh, uh, just raw inspiration from the location but at the same time it's presented on the, on the location so there is a circle of inspiration presentation and audience and artist and uh, all these mutual influences and, and mutual uh, outputs, that's what really interests us. And even I don't mind if uh, there are projects which even people don't know that it belongs to, to the festival and basically it was made for the festival. For example, there is an overpass for cars in one of uh, the square, squares of uh, Budapest and um, a group of uh, visual artists, they painted the legs of this overpass and it's there for more than five years and, uh, and people like it, like it very much but I think just very few people know that uh, it was actually made for one of the festival and it's still there and, and it's very important for us to, because it's a festival and the uh, festival is just last 10 days but then uh, I'm really interested in that kind of project which just lasts the longer this remains on site, for example, like this, or not just physically, it can be also like uh, on a, in the digital world. So it can be an application, and then, uh, but people can just download it and go back to the location and, and do a, an urban game or an oldie walk or something like this. So it's very important that the audience is not just the audience of the festival, but the, the city or people who are in Budapest as a tourist or as a habitant. Um. So the another project which I really just mentioned shortly uh, called the Remember the Good Times. Mm. They are choosing uh, those kind of locations where it was very a lively area beforehand and uh, then just became abandoned. And uh, it's an audio book together with an uh, application. And uh, the content is based on interviews with local people, stories of the local people, the real history of the, of the location, but also it has a fictional utopian element about the hoped future. So what I really like in this, this project, it's, uh, it's very local, because it's based on these local memories or history, uh, but it's uh, in the menu of uh, application, which is called the uh, Pocket Guide, so you can download these uh, books, which you can do on your own. So it's glo it just became global. Uh, locals are really proud of this because tourists are coming there, and which is they saw that it's not an interesting thing and not an interesting uh, location. But also when we had the project, a lot of local people just came because my neighbor's story is in there or my, I don't know, the local people's story. So uh, I 
think it was, was a, a, another very important um, project with, with this local, global, past, future, uh, real, fictional, and then, then uh, and it's remain on site. So what I just mentioned that uh, during the festival, the artists were here and uh, the people could meet the artists. But after the artists left, you can download, you can have it without the artists, but still uh, you can have the, the whole experience. We are part of uh, a very uh, important European network called In Situ, and it's a network of festivals and production houses uh, focusing on art in public space, on creation in public space. And uh, we are a member of this network for um, um, six years already. And it's very, very important for us for more point of, point of views. One of them is, or the most, most important, is a professional one. So because we have really uh, uh, interesting meetings, uh, a couple of them in a year, and then uh, very important questions uh, are discussed there. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about aesthetic but also beyond the aesthetic, beyond art, what art can make or what art can uh, do in, in, uh, in other fields than the artistic field. And also uh, being part or being a member of this network is a window for us or for me, or for us, or for our, our festival to Europe because now Hungary is just closing down, unfortunately. So we can see less and less interesting foreign peace in Hungary, so thanks to this, this network we can just uh, have a window uh, to, the, to the European art also. And it's a very important financial resource also, so as I said it's very important uh, professionally but also financially. And uh, there are this small uh, private funds, a couple of them, which we can apply in, in Hungary, but also the embassies and the cultural institutes, they are really supportive. Uh, so if we invite a foreign uh, artist, we always, the first thing is that we contact the embassy or the cultural institute. And there are embassies or cultural institutes which are su supporting our festival for years. Uh, and also a little bit of public money this year. Uh, but last year we didn't have public money at all.